I'd like it if we could avoid fostering any antagonism against the, uh, the, the, the Kulnsky. Report U.S. arming extremists in Ukraine. All right. All right, guys. So, uh, CBS News released, um, an investigative report on where the weapons are going in Ukraine. Oh, no. Didn't we see this? Wasn't this just one company had like loss like breakage in the the stuff they were bringing to the front lines and that it improved over like since the war began but it was just one company it wasn't even like the whole no. so having said that let's look at this um investigative report from cbs news on where the weapons are going in the past two months, we've moved weapons and equipment to Ukraine at record speed. Drones, grenade launchers, machine guns. We're seeing this incredible historic flow of weapons coming into Ukraine. Do we hey. have any sense as to where they're going? We don't know. There is really no information as to where they're going uh, at all. You know, all this stuff goes to the border, and then kind of like something happens, it kind of like you thirty percent maybe we just it's fun as nation. Wasn't this from one company? This wasn't th like who these people are representatives from the one company, right? It's it, this wasn't like an assessment of the entire operational like like the logistics of all arms being moved across. Ukraine, right? 30% reaches its final destination. So 30% goes to where it, it's intended to go. So the 30% number they pulled on the CBS article was literally just this guy spitballing a number in the in the passenger seat of the car. Or wait, driver's seat, it's Europe. Wait, passenger seat? I don't know in Ukraine which side they drive on. Um, that's it? Help them out in that respect. But again, by the time we got to package 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I was like, Ugh. You don't care if that happens? Do you commit? That the extremist factions in Ukraine won't just coup Zelensky and take over power because they don't like the terms of the deal. And that could in part be because we arm them to the teeth. Seems like a problem. 30%? Are you concerned about weapons getting in the wrong hands? I don't care at all whether that happens. What Based. sort of a unit? Giga what? Chad. You don't care if that happens? Do you commit? Uh, cool. Can't say. Okay. You know what kind of, of a unit do you command? I can't say. Gee, I wonder why they can't say. Wait, what, what, so what, is any of this confirmed? Are these... What? So much military equipment has made its way into Ukraine. I feel like in order to get an assessment of where it's gone, you would need like a, like a big, like, governmental assessment. Like, it would need to be a big thing. You, you can't just get like some guy, some guy in a car being like, yeah, dude, like, like, five guns made it to the front line. Can't tell you where they've gone. You know, like that. I wonder why they can't say. They're like power lords, uh, oligarchs, uh, political players. One of the biggest targets. Like, are... like, source what? Power lords? Oh, I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want these guns to fall into the hands of the power lords or political players. What does that, what does that mean? <laughs> the, like the, the guys, you got to be careful. Okay, these are these are challenge rating seventeen Dungeons and Dragons bosses. All right, oligarchs. What do we mean by? Isn't an oligarch just like a wealthy, powerful person who has a lot of like control over the government? What is that? Wouldn't an oligarch in Ukraine be one of the people in part, like potentially with control over how it would be distributed? Like, what are we, what are we talking about? I I don't know. Lords, uh, oligarchs, uh, political players. One of the biggest targets are convoys like this transporting weapons. Europeans had come to believe that that project of integration had effectively meant the banishment of armed force. Okay. This, I feel like this could actually serve as a really good instruction on how to identify unreliable information in media when it trends more towards propaganda than journalism. Um, if a report is being made on something serious, if you're really trying to make a claim, like only a third of the arms that are given to Ukraine are actually ending up in the hands of soldiers or whatever, to deliver that information in like a tightly edited, like with music added, and it's just like random people saying this shit to you without like disclosing their their affiliations or their credentials, um, not providing any like 
collateral or any like private info to indicate there's any legitimacy to what they're saying they're just like saying shit like th these are huge allegations you know i don't yeah it's just this this works like better as, as propaganda i don't know why cbs is doing this um yeah i don't know i mean i guess yeah all of a sudden not far from the borders of the eu was the most significant war since world war ii Fuck, I might want to watch this on my own. I can't watch it on stream because of copyright stuff, but I, I, I'm kind of curious, like, what claims are they making, you know? Wow, okay. So look, I, you know, I should probably go and watch the entire thing. That trailer is very intriguing. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate on Kalinsky too much for this. This is more, this is on CBS, not on Kalinsky. Do you think their biggest war since World War II is reasonable? It, in terms of, like... In terms of, like, the commitment of military equipment and personnel, this is the largest war in Europe since World War II. In, in, in Europe. Uh, 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 yeah. Like, by a pretty large margin, right? Of course, I'm a, um, uh, a based and red-pilled uh, NATO-maxed leftist. Uh, I don't really care where the arms go after we give them to Ukraine. Bankrupt America, turn it all into uh, Lockheed Martin munitions, send them right over there, and let the Azov Battalion get their hands on them day one. I don't care. I am, I have an axiom, and that axiom is maximize the total yield of explosives present in Ukraine in the hands of Ukrainians. And that's it. That's it. Nothing else matters. I have been making people so fucking mad on Twitter, dude. I wish I could get some of these dipshits on here to debate, you know? Like, I would try to have a friendly convo with them. I wouldn't tried to run off too antagonistic, but these, they, they, they're not going to talk for me. There's no shot. Good, Kanye. And Harko Azovism. Oh, God. Oh, they get so mad, dude.